What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Now, in today's video we'll be covering TOEFL independent writing and I have a sample essay prepared for you. So please take out your notebooks, grab your writing utensils and get ready to take some awesome notes. Now don't forget that you gotta first and foremost understand what the topic is all about. So if the topic asks you do you agree or disagree, think about both sides so that you get a complete idea of what the essay topic is actually asking you. Now, while you're typing your body paragraphs, your details, examples, make sure that you always keep track of what your opinion actually is, okay? Don't start writing something that's off topic or irrelevant without knowing what's happening. Please be responsible, be aware, and always keep in mind that you gotta stay on topic first and foremost. All right, so let's go to my laptop, look at the essay topic, and read the sample essay together. All right, all right, let's take a look at today's essay topic. It is better for children to choose jobs that are similar to those of their parents instead of choosing jobs that are completely different from their parents. Do you agree or disagree? Now, for this essay topic, I am going to disagree. So, I'm going to support the idea of choosing jobs that are completely different from their parents. So, my opinion is actually that choosing jobs that are completely different from one's parents can be better than choosing jobs that are similar to those of one's parents, okay? That's my main point. All right, now I want you guys to pause the video for a couple of seconds to read the introduction paragraph on your own. I'm only going to read out loud the first and second body paragraphs, okay? All right, so here's the first body paragraph. First and foremost, the majority of individuals would agree with the notion that opting to pursue professions that are not similar to those of one's parents can engender a myriad of advantages. That's the reason. The main reason behind this rationale is that each and every person should seek out jobs that are the most deposit to their aptitudes, meaning that one's parents' jobs may not be suitable. Okay, that's the first supporting detail. In addition to this, by working in an unrelated field, children will have a chance to expand their social network by befriending people of various social and cultural backgrounds. That's the second supporting detail. To illustrate more thoroughly, now this is the example. My older brother, Peter, is currently working as an accountant in one of the most respected and prestigious accounting firms in New York. However, when Peter got accepted to college, he originally planned on following the footsteps of our father, who works as a mechanical engineer. This is fake. I don't have an older brother, and my dad is not a mechanical engineer, okay? This is a made-up story. My older brother, our dad, and I have always had a good relationship, and we frequently did many things together, such as playing sports and watching movies ever since Peter and I were young boys. Thus, naturally, Peter wanted to be like our dad and chose mechanical engineering as his major when he was a freshman in university. However, Peter was never a fan of physics or complicating calculations, so the time he spent studying engineering was a big struggle for him. Having a hard time maintaining a good grade point average, Peter decided to switch majors and chose accounting as he was always very organized, neat, and had the desire to work in business. Consequently, for a person like my older brother, getting a similar job to my dad would have been a terrible choice that would have decreased the quality of his life. Okay, so that's the end of my example. Now this is the wrap up statement. All in all, we can't and shouldn't overlook the upsides of opting to take professions that are not similar to those of one's parents. Okay, so that's, that's the ending sentence that ensures that whatever you wrote before that sentence is on topic, okay? All right, now let's move on to the second body paragraph. On top of this, choosing to do jobs that are similar to those of one's mothers and fathers can result in unfavorable ramifications. That's the reason. In the eyes of many people in present-day society, individuals should separate family from work if possible, as not doing so can create lots of unnecessary conflicts and issues. That's the first supporting detail. Moreover, children may also feel a tremendous amount of pressure and burdens while working if their parents have jobs in similar professions. After all, some people will eventually make comparisons between children and their parents or have unreasonably high expectations if one's parents are very successful. That's the second detail. A great example of this would be the children of prominent athletes and celebrities. The majority of kids who have parents that are recognized and accomplished figures feel a ton of pressure 
and encounter difficulties due to their parents' fame. Michael Jordan, the greatest basketball player to have ever set foot on the hardwood floor, has two sons who decided to follow his footsteps and become basketball players. The fact that Jordan is their dad was both a blessing and a curse. They were fortunate enough to have the most talented and versatile basketball player as their mentor. But the downsides were that Jordan is a perfectionist who is ruthless in competition and that all the fans of Michael Jordan either had ridiculous expectations towards his kids or simply doubted that they would become as great as Michael Jordan. As we speak, not many people know about what Michael Jordan's sons are doing since they didn't make it into the NBA and are most likely doing other things unrelated to basketball. Okay, now I'm going to scroll down a little. The same goes for the children of celebrities like Robert De Niro, Jack Nicholson, Whitney Houston, and etc. The aforementioned people are world stars who accomplish feats that are simply unattainable for most individuals. As a result, pursuing acting or singing would be a daunting task for their children as they know they will always be mentioned as someone's child instead of having their own identity. Okay, so that's the end of the example. Long story short, it's clear as day to me that choosing jobs that are similar to those of one's parents can end up being detrimental. And that's the wrap up statement. All right, so pause the video for a few moments here to read the conclusion paragraph on your own, please. And that's my sample essay. All right, all right, so that was my sample essay. If you enjoyed the sample essay and the essay topic, please drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you still have not done so. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Share the channel with your friends and family members. And if you are a self-disciplined and dedicated person, reach out to me about my tutoring services. Let's get the job done. Let's get the score that you deserve as quickly as possible. Now, this essay topic, today's essay topic was asking, basically asking, is this better or is that better? So the first body paragraph was focusing on the advantages of my choice and the second body paragraph emphasized and focused on the downsides of the other choice. Please don't forget that it's really important to write two body paragraphs that are about different things as well. Okay, the next video is gonna be about some tips and advice on reading. So please guys, if you have some problems with reading, leave those problems in the comment section below as well so that I can answer those questions and provide more relevant tips and suggestions, okay? All right, so stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.